Impact Interview is sponsored by the Pocono Mountains, where small town charm meets big adventures. Book your trip today by visiting PoconoMountains.com. Well, welcome back to Nittany Game Week. It is time for our Impact Interview, and it is not a stretch to say that our guest has had a profound impact on the way that you view sporting events all across the country. We have got NBC producer Matt Marvin. He's a six-time Sports Emmy winner. Matt joined NBC Sports in 2000, has served as the lead producer of NASCAR on NBC, Notre Dame football on NBC, and the NHL on NBC. Also a veteran of 10 Olympic Games and five Super Bowls. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate the time. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, guys. NBC has really jumped into this with both feet, and you guys went right at it in Happy Valley. So talk about the resources, not just financially, Matt, but also the amount of people that you bring to a production, because it's essentially an all-day show. Yeah, it's a bit of a traveling circus uh, in, in a way. There's, there's well over 150 people. Uh, as you guys saw, we have both our game production crew, but also the pregame production crew. So between that, there, there, there's well over 150 people on the crew, and, and, and we couldn't have picked a better place to come, right? Like the, the team was so accommodating uh, to set up our set outside, uh, outside of the stadium, then the set on the field for our pregame show, and then how they took care of us up in the booth with Noah Eagle and Todd Blackledge. Um, the resources in terms of, of cameras, that's probably the most cameras that we'll have on a game this season. I mean, there'll, there'll be a couple other games that rise to that level. But we wanted to make sure that we really, you know, put our best foot forward in this environment and we're able to capture everything that that stadium offers. And uh, hopefully we did that. You hired two guys that are really represent two of the best on field and off field leaders in Penn State football history and Todd Blackledge and Michael Robinson. Can you talk a little bit about the strengths and professionalism that those two guys bring to your team? Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll start with Todd Blackledge. You know, once we found out that we had the Big Ten, uh, you know, we didn't really have a, a full college football package, if you will. We've been doing Notre Dame on its own for so many years. And, you know, you just start getting into a room and throwing out names. Who can we get? Who can we get? Like, who's a, who's available? Who's the best person out there? And all those roads led to Todd. I mean, Todd, to me, is kind of the face of college football. Like, listen, there's a couple other guys out there. Obviously, they're fantastic at their job. I've always gravitated towards Todd. Um, he, he just – everything is about the game. He's he, he breaks it down in an easy way, but but it's he also points out things like nuance. Um, he's, he's really the total package. And then we got to, I got to meet him and that just furthered our belief that, hey, this is our guy. And, and thankfully, you know, I'm not part of the, the business end of it, so I don't really know behind the scenes how that stuff worked out. But thankfully for us, apparently Todd felt the same way. So he gave us instant credibility, if you will, like that. That to me is what Todd Blackledge did. And then uh, in terms of Mike Robb. That was a little bit different. I actually, we got to work with Mike Robb uh, a few years ago when we launched USFL. You know, obviously Mike has been doing some stuff for the NFL network and through a mutual connection, uh, a, a guy I worked with from Penn State, Ben Buma on hockey. You know, when we got the USFL, he was like, hey man, you know, maybe check with Mike Robb and see what he's up to. So kind of that's how that came about. And sure enough, he was interested in doing it and, uh, and, the, and the relationship developed from there. Uh, but to your point too, about, about leadership, preparation, Mike Robb is, is, is cut from the same cloth. You know, this guy just shows up um, prepared completely uh, with an attitude that he wants to do work, and he's just an incredible teammate. You know, just as you would imagine a quarterback and captain would be, that, that's what both of these guys personify in their daily lives. It's, it's, it's really, it's a pleasure to work with these guys. Matt, uh, Tom Bradley here. Besides college football, you also do NHL and, and NASCAR. Can you tell me a little bit about your first experience with a night game at Beaver Stadium? Yeah, it, uh, it it blew me away. I mean, I mean, listen. I, and again, I'm I'm very biased because I I grew up as a kid and college football was always my favorite. So, the opportunity to do NHL uh, in NASCAR was incredible. And, and those environments are, are are different in their own way and wonderful in their own way. Um, but I, I can tell you, I think I did ten laps around the stadium on game day just to kind of and I was imagining what it was going to look like. And then, you know, we kept watching tapes of, of the whiteout games uh, because we knew it would be somewhat similar, not exactly similar, but very similar in, in the way the team comes out. And I was I was almost breathless after the first two to three minutes of our show just because I was so amped up. And when you see the team burst through the door, they come out, the pom-poms are going. I, there's just nothing like it. And then, you know, when you find out at halftime that it's 110,747, 
I mean, I, that speaks for itself. There's really not much else you can say. It was unlike anything else I'd ever done. It was fantastic. Well, I'm impressed. 10 laps around that stadium, man. You really did soak up all the atmosphere. <laughs> I burned some calories, man. I was just so <laughs> amped up about it. And, uh, you know, checking out where our cameras were and envisioning, hey, this is what's going to happen when the team runs out. And just trying to just trying to get a feel for it. You know, just to, it was just, it was, you don't get those opportunities too often. And I just didn't want to miss out on anything. So uh, early in the morning, I, I went out there multiple times, took some laps and, uh, and really tried to breathe the whole thing in. Well, that's really cool to map it out. And guess what? In the future, you get to take some laps around the Rose Bowl and the LA Coliseum. Talk about that expansion out West. Yeah. I don't know if that complicates things or I mean, it just increases the level of excitement, but you're going to have to expand the operation all, all the way out West for the Big Ten. No doubt. I mean, to me, and again, the behind the scenes stuff, and there are so many arguments, is this good or bad for college football? And I certainly understand all that. Um, but in terms of just NBC and Fox and CBS, all of us kind of doing the Big Ten, it, it certainly creates a bunch of very exciting possibilities, right? Like those are all storied programs. Um, some of those stadiums you just mentioned are, are, are places that every college football fan knows with their own traditions, certainly some logistics to work out and all that kind of stuff. But um, that's easy stuff to figure out once you see that you have the possibility of USC at Penn State or Penn State at USC uh, and all those different machinations of the matchups. It's just it's too exciting to uh, to even conceive of not not wanting to do it. It's, it's awesome. Great feedback on NBC's coverage plan for Penn State and the Big Ten. We're going to step aside for the TV show to take a break. We will continue our interview. So if you want to see the entire conversation with coordinating producer Matt Marvin, make sure to go to NittanyGameWeek.com for the entire interview, along with other web-exclusive content.